What's going on everybody, it is your man Cleveland Terry, and today I wanted to give you a little bit of an update based upon the last video I did, which was my first impressions video for Virtual DJ 2020. As you all know, I was really, really impressed by the application, but I did have a couple of issues that I talked about in the video. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to go back and talk about some of those issues that I had because I found out some new information and I think it'll help a lot of people in the future, especially ones that had the same issue as I did. So the first thing I talked about was the pro layout. And one of my issues was I didn't like the fact that the waveforms were located at the top. There was this giant waveform taking up a lot of space. I felt like could be used for something else. So after I said that, some people said, well, you actually can change the layout. You can remove the waveform. You just can't do it in the pro layout. What you have to do is go into the performance layout, then go down, change the option for waveforms to vertical and the waveforms go away. That's your solution right there. You have to use it in performance mode in order to remove the waveform from the top. It'd be nice if they could keep that in the pro form also, but basically once you set performance mode to vertical, it pretty much turns into the pro layout anyway. And Virtual DJ has actually already mentioned that they might just go ahead and put that vertical layout in the pro form too, just to avoid confusion. Now, that brings me to my next thing, which was actually the last thing I said in my video, but it pertains to this. I said that there was no record button on the main layout. You had to go into settings and then set your recording and then go back to the main layout. Some people corrected me and said, no, actually there is. It's located in the master tab. So within the pro setting, you have several tabs, okay, right in the middle where your mixer is. And one of them is master. Once you click on master, you can see that right here, here is the access to the record functions. So here's the caveat. If you are in the professional layout and you go to vertical waveforms, you don't have the option to record. The master tab goes away, which means that you actually have to either go into settings or actually make your own custom button to do it. Is that an issue? For a lot of people, no. Sometimes it's just easier to just have that there. Virtual DJ acknowledged that and what they said was they designed the top six custom buttons, the ones that are empty, located right here. They designed those buttons to be used for whatever you want. So if you want that to be a record function, well, it's just as simple as setting up that macro and making it happen. So that solves that. Um, was there anything else? Oh yes, lovely phase. I mentioned that I couldn't use phase without it remaining plugged in to the computer. A couple of people said, I do it all the time. And I said, I can't figure out how to get it done. Well, a user, let me get his name right, DJ Knight Trend, might be Train, but it's Knight Trend. I'll post it right here. Uh, sent me a video of how he does things and how he got it to work without it being plugged into the computer. Now. It's actually a very, very simple thing that for some reason I didn't notice when I was first doing it. So when you initially plug in your phases to set the correct tone map, when you plug it in, Virtual DJ has an auto detect function. So the moment you plug it in, the box pops up and says, hey, I see you're using phase. Do you want to use it? You click yes, bam, it's connected to phase. So when you unplug it, what I didn't realize was the auto detect is still on the system. It's not remaining saved to face. So the moment you pull it out, it's now waiting for you to plug something else in to work. All I had to do was go into the settings and manually change that to phase, and then they worked perfectly. So you can use phase without it plugged into the computer. Again, I wanna thank DJ Night Trend, and you can actually check out his video right here where he kind of explains it in, in detail. But the most important part is really changing the auto detect. So you are manually saying, make sure you're using phase as my controller. That's it. Now, of course, like I said before, I've been using Virtual DJ for a little while now. I've been very impressed with it. Um, however, I did over the weekend have a couple of little glitches. Um, one was for some strange reason on my DDJ 1000 jogs, I was getting a couple of freezes and it happened more than once, which is why I'm actually bringing it up. Um, it happened three times. And it was always when I was either trying to scratch or bringing something back and then it would just kind of freeze up 
I don't know if it was the DDJ 1000s that were causing the problem or VDJ, but it never, it hasn't happened with Rekordbox. So I'm gonna assume there was just some sort of communication disconnect for a moment because as soon as I pulled it back, then it was reading it just fine. But I did have that happen to me at least twice throughout the day. And that was just a three hour gig. So it was something that I just said, huh, that's weird. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. All right, guys, if you found this thing useful, hit that like button. If you found it really useful, hit that subscribe button. I try to do these videos at least once or twice a week. I have a, hopefully a uh, new day in the life coming within the next day or two, if timing permits. Right now, we're kind of in our busy season. So I've been really, really swamped with client work. So it's been pushing everything back a little bit. Um, but I hope to get on a consistent schedule, get these things out like I, like I said, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.